All right, in today's video, we're going to go through a few things that, uh, real quick, um, what I use for fuel order material. I'm not going to be talking about the aluminum, but just a different animal entirely. I'm going to uh, start with a stainless here. Now, this is an 035 stainless. This is just uh, off of a spool of wire. So, and it is a 308L stainless. Now, the problem was this spool of wire would be feeding through and just go into a bind. So, just a bad spool entirely. Um, nothing wrong with the wire necessarily, just bad spool, but I will not be recommending this stuff. So, uh, I can tell you it starts with an R, ends with an R. Um, but, uh, just designed a little thing that helped them straighten that out. So, a little bit of adjusting here, and maybe I can get it nice and straight. I do store all my um, filler material typically in PVC pipe. Uh, glue one end, and the other end just popped off. Now, this is not 035 in here, but it is stainless. So... I do mark them like that and you can put a glue on a fitting with the threaded fitting if you want to use threaded fitting that's fine too but I highly recommend going into these due to the simple fact that uh, you got these molding lines here and they'll actually break over time this one's actually pretty strong oh look at that. yeah pretty strong but they'll actually crack right there over time um, and also you don't want nobody likes a bent rod so uh, yeah, that's why I use the PVC. Um, when it comes time to carbon to carbon, I will run a uh, just an ER70. Oh, in fact, an ER70, um, and I'll go down. Same thing. I'll run the 035 wire. I'll take it off my MIG spool. Um, and what it is is I once I get so low on my spool, I look at my machine. If I start seeing it getting too low, I don't want to run out uh, of wire. In the middle of a weld so you know time to replace the 33 pound spool and get a new one but uh that's what i use for the carbon there when it comes time to carbon to carbon um when it comes time to attaching multiple various things um brass stainless uh for example i attach the four thousandths of copper foil to a 332nd filler rod uh for my niece's trinket that i made it was a hibiscus flower and a hummingbird and i'll link that in the description below you guys feel free to check that out um i highly recommend this rod right here i knew it as everdure growing up uh but uh it's silicone bronze welding rod and works absolutely fantastic it's a lower heat uh rod um give it a shot you can attach multiple various materials you know to each other with this so highly recommend it and i'll show you i keep them separated you get to get kind of the same size close to it anyway but uh you can see you know if you have these things sitting back in you know side by side uh in a dark corner over there and uh, you have a dark lens on you can mistake the two um for each other now that's a er70 on the top with the uh ever do it as i knew it on the bottom but uh they're just sitting in your cup like that you may not recognize them so i do try to keep them separated you know keeping the stainless in the front and uh that's everything i got so i hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for more peace